What is what? 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 What is this? Hello there, everyone. Stormy Strike here, and welcome to another episode of Star Staple Online. For this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new character animations, which just came out recently in an update. And then we'll also probably go over to uh, South Hoof Peninsula and do some of the quests over there to catch up on them. And there is some like new ones or something too. So we're going to check that out. So as you can kind of see already, uh, the new animation, one of the new ones apparently, is the rider reaches over and pets the horse when you're just standing there. And like, okay, she's adjusting her stirrup, I guess. And that's kind of cool. I think these uh, new animations are good, good to have. So that's really cute, I think, when she reaches over and, like, pets the horse. That is adorable. I absolutely love that. There are some other... There's one thing about the animation I noticed already that I'm going to have to go over. But... So this is pretty cool, though, that they um, kind of move and do stuff and like while they're standing there, I guess. That's kind of cool, right? I don't know. Kind of gives it a bit more life, I guess. And, like, yeah, like they're, like, adjusting, them, adjusting themselves and stuff. So that's interesting. But let's see um, if there's a new animation for dismounting. And there is. Oh my gosh. Let's see that again. There's also a new one for getting on the horse. Let's see the dismount again. So they like kind of get off and then they jump off. So they do the English the English style of basically getting off the horse. Or you like take both feet out of the stirrup. Uh, or both feet. Yeah. Both feet out of the stirrup and then you jump down. Kind of thing. That's interesting. And then, uh, what about for, like, getting on them? It's a little different. They kind of swing their leg up a little bit more and their arm comes out farther. We'll do that again. I don't know why we're going in depth into this, but I just, I just wanted to really check it out because that's kind of all this up new update is about. So that's pretty cool. And then I don't know if they have, like, any other animations for, like, taking care of the horse or not. So I'm going to try those in a second. I'm also not sure if leading your horse, uh changes anything or not if you have a new animation for that um it looks kind of the same i mean like i think the walk the human walk is a little different maybe a little more updated or whatever and then the other thing is that you can now do like shift when you run which i was already doing before they did this update i was already like pressing the shift and like holding it down to run because that's just such a natural thing to do in video games on the computers to hold down shift to run so I always did that anyway but now it's like a new thing where you tap it to uh, run and then you tap it again to walk so the run looks a little different I think a little bit more uh, polished or something I don't know definitely looks a little different though I think and I want to see now if uh, taking care of your horse if the animations for that are different even though my horse doesn't need taken care of. I was going to use a different horse by the way, but I was too didn't feel like not putting new tack on it and stuff and, cha and figuring out which horse to ride so I'm just using blue magic again. Alright, so let's try the uh, grooming one. Uh, it looks a little different I think, how she like moves her arm. Looks a little different there. Let's try cleaning out the hooves. Kind of the same, maybe a little bit more fluid though. Like it doesn't look as stiff as it used to. Um, oh, I don't want to feed you anything because I already, I don't want to do that one because I don't want to waste food. But uh, there's the water one. Looks about the same. Maybe it looks like her head moves though. Like just a lot of little movements going on. So that's pretty cool that they've been doing these new, new things. And I also don't know if the animations like with riding if they vary at all on like the different horses. I have not tested that out and I don't feel like pulling out my other horses to try it. So we're just going to be doing it um, on, on this guy for now. So the walk and like it looks pretty much the same. The only thing is the arms are kind of moving up and down a little bit just like slightly kind of with the motion of the horse. And I'm okay with that at the walk. That looks kind of natural. and. Uh, yeah, like, the whole body seems to move more, too. Like, the whole character's body, like, the shoulders and stuff kind of move a bit. I don't know if you can see that well or not. I should have probably wore a different outfit to show that better. Actually, I do have something in here that would show it better. I feel like it all feels about the same, or looks about the same. So, and then that, so that's the walk. 
And at the jog, she's posting it, which they posted it before, I believe, I'm pretty sure. But it does look a little better now. It looks more, uh, more natural, I think, for sure, and more fluid. So that's really cool. I like that. And then the canter looks pretty good, too. It kind of bouncing in and out of the saddle a little bit. It looks nice. You're going to figure out in a minute here why, what... <laughs> Is this um, the hand gallop? Alright, so a character is starting to do it already now is the arm movements. Let me take that off. The, um, the arm movements are actually quite hysterical though when you get up into the gallop. Yep, there it is. There it is. Do you see that? Do you see that jumping up and down with the arms to make the horsey go? That, ooh, don't want to run into that. That is really weird in my opinion. That's the only thing I don't like about these new animations that I noticed. Is that right there the um uh I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep it so you can actually see this. The the jumping up and down of the arms, like what is that? That is not a thing. That is that is not you're you're not supposed to do that in real life. Don't do that. So yeah, I don't understand what this jump, jumping up and down with the hands and the reins is going on. Like, what is that? I have no idea. So that's the only thing I don't like about it is this exaggerated moving of the hands when you're in the gallop. Looks very weird. Oh yeah, what does the jumping look like? I forgot to check that. What does the jumping look like? It's so weird. It's, it's very weird. Like, that is, just, I mean, hmm, I like the old way of the gallop a lot better with the rider because that is just so exaggerated in my opinion it just looks silly <laughs> but let's go ahead and see what it looks like to actually jump if it has anything different it might be a little different let's see we okay it looks like the arms like <laughs> the arms fly out a little bit way too much like they fly out very weird but um yeah it's a little weird but I mean it's not terrible the jump's not terrible but you can kind of see, like, I don't know, it is it is what it is. It is what it is. I guess that's pretty much it, though, in the way of the animations to talk about. So now we'll just go ahead over to South Hoof and start getting some new quests done. Or a couple older quests, actually, too. But start getting some quests, uh, quests going on in here and stuff. And uh, one of them involves the wild horses and stuff, so that's cool. We will go and check that out now. Eh, you've made a good impression with me, I have to say. You've worked well with horses, even with blue magic on the racetrack. If you're interested, you're welcome to adopt one of these lovely wild horses. <gasps> I would love to. They've chosen to live here on my farm because they feel like life out on South Hoof is too hard. Unfortunately, I simply don't have room for them all, though. Eh, so if you'd like to make a home for one of these Welsh ponies, then I'm sure they'd be very happy. The price I take for the adoption is all the money that goes to a good cause. The money I earn from selling the Welsh ponies goes towards me helping more horses. Oh, and then that was it. Oh no, did we not have another quest? Uh-oh, we might have to go to the lighthouse quest then if we haven't um, activated it or something yet. There should have been another quest, I thought. Also, we should have had a quest to fix the bridge, and I don't see that quest over here at all. What is going on with that? I have no idea. Okay, so that's cool though. Now we can actually buy the uh, wish ponies if we wanted to. They're pretty darn cute, I gotta admit. This one actually reminds me of a horse I know in real life. So that one is super cute. There's the bay one. He's actually really cute. I really like that one. And that's adorable. And then of course we have to have a black one. So, so cute. And let's go check out these other guys over here. See these cute ponies? There's a little gray, white one. White, gray one. Ooh, this one actually has dapples. This one actually has dapples. Ooh, horsey, stop moving around. I'm trying to show them the dapples. Need a little bit of dapples going on there. Oh, that's so cute. Cute pony, cute pony. 
And then I do really like the this one, even though it doesn't look <laughs> it doesn't look realistic to me for some reason. It's just so saturated looking. This uh, sorrel sor sorrel chestnuty one, who I'm walking into right now. That one is super cute too. And then of course you we have a gray one here, which is very similar to this one. I think the one I'm riding, Blue Magic. You guys look a little bit similar. Why can't I move? <laughs> What are we doing? Oh my goodness. But yes, this gray one's really cute too, even though I'm walking right into it. And by the way, I know like this is a long time ago now, but when I did my um, post on getting a video on these new guys, I thought they were the Welsh Pony models, but apparently they're not. They're actually the Icelandic models. But they are kind of similar, I think, still. Like, just look a little bit similar. <laughs> my horse is not does not like this at all. Alright, so let's mm, maybe go to the Lighthouse quest then, I guess, and see if maybe that will activate the new quest over here. So, alrighty, here we are at the Lighthouse. We will talk to whoever this is. I cannot keep up with the characters anymore. I have no idea who's who. Woo, too close. There we go. Sin Syngrid. Syngrid, I hope is how you say that. Oh, we have two two things. Ooh, the fairy to South Hoof and the missing girl. Let's do the fairy first. Good day to you, Stella. If I understand correctly, you've already been inside the lighthouse. Otherwise, I would have gladly given you a tour. Might you have time to help me out with one more thing? It's to do with the ferry that used to go between South Hoof and Fort Pinter. I'd love to see it get going again. What if an accident happens at some point? We need to be able to connect with the mainland in a hurry in that case. I don't know what... I, I don't know who to talk to on the mainland, but perhaps James and Ford Pinta can help you. I don't know him, but apparently he's one of the... Uh, one of the... One, blah, blah, blah. He's the one who calls the shots over there. You're not sure James is the right person to talk to, but you're happy to help any way you say. Thanks, Stella. I hope to see you again some again sometime. Alright, we talked to James about the ferry already. And that's gonna be all the way back at Fort Pinto. Oh no, that's at the ferry landing thing. Okay. Now let's see what this other quest is. Hello there, Stella. Wonderful to see you again. You wouldn't happen to have seen Madison, would you? No? Hmm. Where she's got to? See, there aren't any schools here on South Hoof, so I'm actually taking, taking on the responsibility of homeschooling her. My son Eric seems to think we should be sending her to proper school. Bah! As though my teaching isn't good enough. Would you be an angel and have a quick look to see where Madison is? She should be down at the farm. Thanks, Stella. Alright, so... Uh, what? Okay, I apparently had to ask her. I don't know. Alright, off to the farm we go then and ask questions and then we'll go down to the little uh, fairy landing majiggy thingy. Oh, okay, we're here and I asked, uh, what's her face? She said check with Eric, okay, and then... Who's Eric? This is Eric, so we'll ask him. Okay, uh, apparently he knows something. My horse had a little moment right there. Okay, Eric, what do you have to tell us? Are you looking for Madison? Sorry, Stella, but I can't talk right now. I need to stack up these boxes properly. It's something Jonas should have done already, but... Sigh. Sorry if I sound short, Stella. You shouldn't have to be dragged into m in the middle of everything. Maybe you could come back a little later. If you help Eric stack up the boxes, then maybe he'll be able to help you with medicine! Alright, help him stack the boxes. How do we do that? Oh, there they are. We'll stack up some boxes. One box, two box. Woo! Pack it up. Three box, four box. There we go. And then a one. A two. A three. Four. There we go. That's a nice stack of boxes. Woo, horsey. You were just like bugging out on me today. Thanks, Stella. 
thanks for helping with the boxes, Stella. You didn't have to, you know. It was nice of you, so thanks. You're wondering where Madison has got to. I think she's up here in her room. I'll check for you as soon as I have scaled and cleaned the fish. Ooh, gross. See, the fish we're going to have for dinner this evening aren't going to scale themselves. Unless the whole family just wants scaly fish. Stella, how lovely of you to offer, but it's really not your job to scale our fish. I did not offer that. Okay, I did not offer that. Oh, you don't mind at all? No, I do mind. Okay, then. Well, thanks. I didn't agree to this. If you do that, I can go and get medicine for you. Here, borrow my knife to scale the fish with. No, the fish are over there in a yellow bucket. Ugh. I did not agree to this at all. Whoops, nope, nope, didn't mean to click that. I'm gonna have to get off my horse. Ooh, I have to use a knife. Ooh. Alright, we're gonna be scaling the fish. Woo, there we go. One down. Too many left to go. Too many fishes being scaled. I, why can't we just, like, use a scale and weigh them instead? That sounds so much better. I have no idea what I'm saying. There we go. There's the last one. Okay, can we see Madison now? That was quick. You must have done that before. No, not actually. Thanks for helping. Oh, uh, well, now the fish are ready to be cooked, at least. Are you sure you don't want to stay and eat with us? Okay, I know you've got lots of other stuff to do, but the invite stands if you change your mind. By the way, I went up to look for Madison, but she wasn't in her room. I guess she was... I, uh, she was uh, pretty nearby, though, since she's probably off playing with the animals. We've got cows, pigs, and chickens. And if she's not with one of them, she's with the other. She's truly the animal-loving kid. Sorry to ask this of you, Stella. I know it's not your responsibility, but if you're going to look in on the animals while you're looking for Madison... Could you maybe take these sacks of animal feed with you? I'm sure they're all pretty hungry by now, and perhaps you and Madison can feed them together once you found her. All right, horsey. Blue Magic. Which, I don't know why I named you after a cleaning product, but you are the bluest of magic. Where, where are we going? Go, horsey. Go, Blue Magic. You're better at cleaning than being a horse. Where's the things? All right, there's the thing. There's the th there's the food for the hor for the for the horses for the animals. Oh, there's the chickies. Oh, the chickies eating they feed. That's cute. And then what other animals do we got around here? Whoops, nothing in here. What is that? What's over here? Are those cages? They're like it's like a little cage thingy. That's interesting. And like little feed trough thingies. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what a farm is. Oh, <laughs> uh, where's the other thing? Is it over here? Why am I so mixed up? Oh, I forgot you can buy clothes here. Whoa, where is it? I thought there should be a thingy here. Where's the thingy? Where's the thingy? Is it over here? Thingy? Nope. <laughs> where am I supposed to go? Oh, it's outside here. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing. There we go. Oh, there's the little piggies. How cute. And I know there is like uh, the pigs you can buy right now from what's his face in Badell, and you get like cute little piggies to carry around in your in your little pouch thingies, and they're adorable. You're back already. Didn't you find Madison? No, did we not? I don't think we did. Hmm, then I have no idea where Madison might be. Why do you ask? What? Ha, oh, it's a boring school all the way for that little madam unless she starts taking her responsibilities seriously here at home. She's no doubt forgotten her homework as well. Sigh, sorry, it isn't anything to do with you. I need to look for Madison now and send her to Syngard the second I find her. Or Syngrid, sorry. Syngard? What is that? Hmm, I wonder where she could be. Have you got any ideas? If you do, I'd like you to tell her to get herself home right away. Otherwise, I'll confiscate her games for a week. You think it might be a good idea to ride to the hermit and see if he knows where Madison is? Okay, so now we're probably activating those other that other quest thing here too. 
or at least soon. So back to Hermit we go. Oh wait, I gotta do that fairy landing one still too. Yeah, let's go do that one first real quickly since we're closer to that. All right, here we are at the little fairy landing thing. Oh, that's a cute horse. Um, talk to James here. Hey, Stella, check me out. Just arriving by ferry. Cool, right? Hmm, why is the ferry running? Well, when I told everyone about the dark lighthouse at South Hoof, the few tourists who were left went crazy and wanted to see South Hoof too for themselves. So I called the councilman at Silver Lake and he told him what happened. When he heard you'd gone to South Hoof on your own, he suddenly became very serious and said he'd fix the ferry situation immediately. Only a couple hours went by before there was a new ferry turning up at the dock at Fort Pinta. I got to come across on the, ma on the maiden voyage and here I am. The ferry will travel regularly between South Hoof and Fort Pinta from now on. That's really cool. There's going to be some big bucks to be made here, Stella. Now you and all the tourists can come here as often as you like. I'll take my boat back that you borrowed. No, don't take that boat back. I like that boat. Uh, that boat was nice. Uh, you know it was only to borrow, right? No, I thought we was keeping that. Ooh, we got a hat. What hat do we get? If that's all, then... Uh, if that's all the things you get for helping, haha, of course not, Stella. Here are here Here's a little token of my appreciation, a little souvenir to remind you of your adventures at South Hoof. I was thinking about selling them to the tourists. They'll go like hotcakes, don't you think? See you around, Stella. Whoa, we get a cutscene. You discovered a fairy landing. Okay. <laughs> so no more boat rides. That makes me sad. Because the boats are so much faster than having to sit there and wait for the ferry all day. Because I'm guessing that's what we have to do now to go anywhere. We have to like sit and wait. And wait for that ferry. And sit there and wait. And I hate that. Anyway, that's cool though. We got that quest done. Now we go back to the hermit, hermit guy then and see about uh... Oh, there's a new quest over here in the farm area, though. Do we do that one or go and we're gonna head up and I don't know. We're already um, kidding kind of late on time on this episode. So I'm not sure. I guess, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and see what, what quest is over here. If it takes too long, we'll just stop it and then go back over to Herman's first or whatever. I don't know. All right, let's talk to uh, Jonas here. Hello there, Stella. Nice to see you. What brings you this way today? Everything's just fine here. Business is improving fast now that other people can get here easily. Actually, now I come to think of it, there's one thing that's not quite right. Since the boat sank, we've not been able to enjoy all of the delicious fruits of the sea. You wonder why I don't just fish from the land instead of on boat. Hmm, yeah, I suppose I could, especially since it's been uh, been forever since I was able to offer the family some really tasty seafood. We're so lucky down here in South Hoof. The fishing is so excellent, it's the perfect environment to host a wide range of sea life, and you can even fish for cry, uh, crayfish, 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 cray, um, crawfish, that's how you say it, I think. Or is it a crayfish, crawfish? I don't know. And oysters right there on the beach. Oh, Sinrid really loves oysters. And I gave him a weird accent there for a moment. You think we should just do something about it and try our fishing luck? Right then, let's just do that. Go take a look in the box just here to see if we've got any cr uh, crawfish traps, crayfish traps. I don't know what the right way to say it is. I'm terrible at pronouncing things. Okay, where's the box? Where's that box? It's in here. Oh, these are the traps. I see. Okie dokie, that makes sense. So we got the traps. The trippity traps. And now we'll give him the trippity traps. Mm -hmm. Looks like you found the crawfish traps. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go with crawfish, I guess. Perfect, Stella. Now we've got all the crawfish traps in there, and they're even looking in pretty good shape, which is lucky. Now all that's left to do is head to the beach so we can set them up. 
You'll give me a lift so we can set them up together? Sounds like a fine idea. I won't need to make that uh, long trip on foot. I'll show you where we can set up the traps when we get there. One more thing. You're on South Hoof. We uh, spit three times in the water when we set up crayfish traps. Okay. Um, it's mostly superstition, but it's said to bring good luck and a good catch. Hehehe. <laughs> okay. Lots of things we gotta do then. So we'll, we'll maybe, after we ride into the beach, we'll go and do the hermit quest maybe then, because... I don't want to have to keep running back and forth, running back and forth over and over again. Okay, so I guess we go over to these things in the water and put the traps down. That sounds about the right. Okay, we have to do the spit, spit, spit thingy. Which I don't think really makes any sense, but okay. There's... Oh, this is kind of cool though. I like this shallow water that we can run through. That's cool. That's very, very cool. Alright. Now we have to run back, or that'll just be great. You handled the setup of those crayfish traps like a true fisher. Great work. Now it's just down to patience and a little bit of luck. You're wondering if we can go uh, to collect oysters in the meantime. Absolutely. We need a couple things before we can be gathering oysters. I think we've got all we need at the harbor so we can head over there. Ah, oh, more riding back and forth, back and forth. So after we uh, drop him off, we're gonna we're gonna stop there because I want to just get going to that other quest thingy to get the, the mad Madison, the hermit, and the the horses and yeah. Okay, there you are, sir. Right, good. Okay, cool. And like I said, we'll we'll do his other we'll do his quest later. We'll go right over to the hermit now. Alrighty, so we're here with the uh, hermit. Eh, what do you want? Eh, can you see Madison anywhere here? Exactly, so presumably, she, presumably, presumably she's not here then. Bye! Eh, if I knew where she is, eh, my fishing net. It's a mess and... You want to help me fix it, you say? Eh, uh, okay, well, you can fix it with this. Okay, um, take this tool and don't be a fool. Alrighty, that's a nice little rhyme. Alright, where's my, my thingy? What is this, a sewing needle? Use net tool, okay, net tool. There, that's how much I know. I'm like, a sewing needle? Are we, are we knitting? <laughs> That doesn't make sense either, because you don't knit with the sewing needle. What am I saying? I have no idea. I'm tired. Alright, here's your nets, sir. Good sir, we fixed your nets. Um, our the net is fixed now. Eh, uh, you're looking for Madison, you say? I don't know. Um, she might be over by the big tree, eh? Next to the stones outside, there are two stones with another stone sitting on top of them. Eh, uh, I'm just off to, uh, dig up worms now. I can't do what with you, I can't do that with you here watching. Goodbye. Alright, so, uh, the big tree, which I'm assuming is the big scary tree out at the, uh, the the thing over here. And that means we get to be all magical in a minute. Yay! Here we go, here we go, here comes the magic, here comes the magic. And BAM! Blue horsey. Blue horsey is blue. That is so cool. Alright, big awesome tree. Here comes the fog. The fog setting in. Where are we running? Oh, there she is. We overshot it a little bit. There we go. Hey! Oh, it's so cool that you're here. What are you up to? I don't know. What are you up to? Dad wants me to go uh, go home and do my homework. Boring. What? Game's banned for a week if I don't go home? Sigh. Yeah, yeah. I promise I'll come with you. But hey, before we go, can't we just stay a little while longer? You know, I'm watching the wild horses, right? 
Yeah, there are wild horses living here on the island. Do you want to come see them with me? Yay! I'm conservational, cons, conservative, cons, conservationist Madison. That's a big word. The greatest conservative the world has ever seen. And right now I'm studying the world's rarest horse, the magical wild horse. <gasps> Did you know I'm on a magical wild horse? Could you imagine like she's like, there's rare horses that are wild and magical and they change colors and the blue magic's just over there like, uh, you could, uh, you could be horse whisperer Stella. How does that sound? We could say that you lived here on the island together with blue magic for a long time and you saved me from my shipwreck. Together we hope to find the horse king. That's kind of cool. Horse King? What's a Horse King? Night Dust King of Horses. Night Dust who can make wishes come true if we catch him. If we don't catch him, I'll never be able to make it home again. Ha ha, come on Stella, let me sit behind you on Blue Magic and we'll catch up and ride alongside the wild horses. Yay, now we're going to catch up with Night Dust. I like her, she has an imagination. Alright, ooh, we're running. We're running. I didn't expect a race. Oh my gosh, there's horses everywhere! Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that at all. There's horses, horses, horses. Okay, that this is pretty cool. I gotta admit, that's pretty awesome. That is pretty darn awesome. If only my horse wasn't so slow. My horse is the runt of the pack. I mean, of the, ho of the herd. Oh, that's so cool. Look at the horses like running over the rocks. Did you see that? That was so cool. All right, that was pretty awesome. Pretty darn awesome, I gotta admit. Oh no, my magic power is fading. I'm a normal horse again. Oh, well, at least we blend in now. We we are so far behind. Oh my gosh, can we make it? Oh, we're turning. Everybody's turning. Where are we turning to? Wait for me, wild horses. Don't let me die out here. Oh my gosh, I don't think we're going to be able to make that. I don't know, maybe we can. Come on, blue magic, keep going. Ride, there we go. I feel like these checkpoints are getting harder to reach. Come on, buddy. Oh, magic power is growing. We're going to be magical again. Yay. Magical, uh, the wild horses are running too fast for us. Race finished, though. Yay. Oh, look at that. Look at that horsey. Hello, Mr. Horsey. Hello. I just noticed the character's animation changed, too, when you turn your horse. The character kind of turns their body, too. It's like, oh, we're turning with the horse. We're turning with the horse. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do it, Blue Magic. Dance off. Woohoo! <laughs>
I promise one little race and then I'll go home and do my homework, okay? Why do you seem so unsure? Come on, help me up on the night dust, night dust back. He'll, he likes me, he won't mind. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. If, yeah, I don't think night dust is flicka. He's not gonna just be like, okay, we're cool with this, right? What did I do? Oh, pff. <laughs> what is, what? 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 What is this? Oh, <laughs> What is this? What is going on? Why is she laying on her? Why is she glitching? Why is she laying on her neck? And what is, what is this? What, what is this? What is, what is going on? Night, uh, what? What? <laughs> what is happening? Oh my gosh, there we go. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, oh, that's the perfect screenshot right there. Can we get that again, please? Oh, there we go. There, oh, beautiful. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful right there. Oh my gosh, oh, this is great. Glitches are fun. I don't know if it'll do the glitch while I'm on Blue Magic or not. I'm kind of waiting for it to, though. Come on, are you going to do the glitch? Are you going to do the glitch? Huh? No? Oh, there we go. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. I love it. Okay, the glitch is still there even when I clicked on it. Haha, <laughs> I told you I'd be fine. Night Dust is super relaxed and friendly. Yeah, um, he seems totally cool with you balancing on his neck like that. But look, Stella, I'm riding the king of horses. Ha ha ha. I wanna exactly call that riding, but um... Yeah, okay, whoop, now, whoop, you're gone, you're there, you're gone, whoop. Not the... You're there, you're not there. There, not there. You are a magician. Okay, we have to kind of get off horse back again. Ah! Whoop, there you are again. Okay, not there. There again. I don't even... I don't even know how to comprehend this. Oh, look how cool the horse he is, though. Just grazing. Oh, he's so cute. Look, Stella, I can sit up on night dust without having to hold on. Yay, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> ha ha, come on, Night Dust. Anyway, to the moon and beyond. Why isn't he riding away, Stella? He's just standing still. Oh, I think I've got it. Thanks for cleaning, <laughs> clearing that up for me, Stella. Ha ha, yeah, I'll try that. Come on, boy. Oh, why'd he do that, Stella? Easy, Night Dust, easy. Night Dust. Calm down, the invisible woman on you is, 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 uh, what are we, what is going on? Oh, uh, why he, well, good, very, very that. Stella, night dust, <laughs> night dust won't calm down. Oh yeah, he looks so crazy right now, look at that face, he's like, uh-huh, yeah, I'm, I'm a crazy wild horse. What should I do? Try to calm the wild horse. Oh, now he's getting upset. Oh my gosh, look at him rearing though, that is so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Calming down. Easy, night dust. Easy. Blah, 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 blah. Wow, you, uh, you did do that. You calmed him right down. I like how we still can't see her. And, oh, there we are. There she is. There she is. I knew she was still on there somewhere. Thanks for helping, Stella, but I think I can manage this on my own. Or perhaps not. Stella, how do I get him to stop? Please stop, Night Dust. We don't want to actually want to go to the moon. Stop! Night Dust rushes away suddenly with Madison on his back. You need to ride after them and fast. Track them down before Madison is injured for real. Oh my goodness. And, oh, she's not there still. <laughs> oh, look at that cute Orzy. Oh, and she's not there. <laughs> That is such a weird glitch. Bye bye, horsey. All right, come on, come on, Blue Magic, let's go. Blue Magic's like, I don't know why we need to go chase after that horse. He got nobody on him. Oh, look at him run. Oh, he's so cool. That's just so cool, running wild horsey. No, my magic power is fading. Oh, come on, Blue Magic. I should have gotten a faster horse. Oh no, are we ever gonna catch him? We gotta cut him off here maybe. Cut him off while he's turning. There we go, oh no! <laughs> oh, 
Okay, that's a weird one. That's a weird one. Oh, come on, Blue Magic, keep it up. Oh, there goes the horses. There they go. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Oh, and our magic power is coming back. No, 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 no. This is the weirdest, just the weirdest. Okay, come on. Come on, Blue Magic. I'm going as fast as I can, and we just can't get there very fast. Come on. Okay, we're almost there. Come on, boy. Come on, Blue Magic. Keep going. Keep going. We gotta reach him. We're almost there. We're very close. Ooh, turn, turn. Try and cut him off. Try and cut him off. Come on. This is a very intense race. Oh, I didn't expect that turn. Okay. Um, maybe we should just stand and wait for him to come back around. Is he running in a loop? I'm assuming he is. I'm guessing so. Okay, so we'll just come over this way more. There we go. Now we should really be able to cut him off. Alright, we'll cut him off right here. Yeah! Gotcha! And there's... It looks even worse now. I think the glitch looks even worse. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's lovely. Haha, <laughs> 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 that was incredible, Stella. It's almost like we should do it all over again. You, you just came from, from nowhere on Blue Magic. Thanks. Sorry for scaring you, Night Dust. Run away now, little friend. We'll see each other soon. Bye. Oh, finally. Oh my gosh, he's waving himself. That was so cute. Oh my gosh, that was adorable. That is too cute for words. And there he goes. Bye-bye, Night Wish. Was that his name? I don't know. I can't keep up with these horses' names. I promise Stella I'll stay away from the wild horses for a while. Haha, <laughs> but you have to admit that it was fun anyway. I mean, we caught a wild horse. I got my wish granted and I got my very own wild horse. I'm gonna f try and find... I'm gonna try to find him and meet him more times. Maybe I can bring carrots or something so next time. Haha, <laughs> I promise I'll be more careful next time. I've tried to ride wild horses before, but this was absolutely the best. Haha, <laughs> it was just so cool. You're right, Stella. We should start heading back home. But hey, I can sit behind you on Blue Magic. We can pretend that you and me, Agent and Commander, going to Fort Hightower. Good name, right? Because I'm a princess who's under a curse. Hmm, and the curse can only be held in check by, by uh, me doing my homework. Or, well, that sounded boring. Let's say... Hmm, yes, a test of wisdom. The wisdom test appears by magic every day, and if I don't pass the test, I'll be forever lost. Agent Stella, we must hurry to Hightower. You need to help me get there in time before it's too late. To the moon and beyond. Ha ha. Wait, Stella, did you hear that? There was a weird noise coming from over there. I swear I heard something over there. Come on, we need to check what it was. Ooh, this took a weird turn. What's the weird noise? Okay, now, now you're on us now. I'm glad you're not doing the glitch, because that would have been really weird. What weird... Oop, I'm going the wrong way. We Going the wrong way. I was expecting it to be at the tree, so that's why I was like, ooh, it's going to be something spooky or something. Oh no, what's going on now? Horses are running everywhere. Oh my goodness. What happened? What's going on? Wait, Stella, listen! Sounds like the noise is getting closer! Oh, it's the horses. They're gonna be coming again, I guess. Stella, do you hear that too? Why do you look so worried? Horses, you're right! It's the sounds of lots of hooves coming this way! It must be the wild horses! There, look! I can see them! They're really in a hurry! Something must have scared them! Agent Stella, you're totally right! We need to take cover! But where? Where do you think we should hide? Oh, I see! It's a stampede! We got a horse stampede going on. Where's the horses? I don't see any horses. I also don't hear anything. Come on, Star Stable. Give us some sound effects or something. Where do we hide? Oh, we hide over here. Oh, I see. I see. This is like Jurassic Park style hiding behind the thing while the horses jump over. That's exactly what's going to happen here, I bet. Oh, look at the horsies! They're so pretty! Okay, well, maybe they're not going to jump over us, but that would have still been cool. Bye-bye, horses! That's cool. Oh, look at them go! Oh, that's so cool. So, so cool. Phew, that was close. Wonder why they were running. I've never seen horses run like that, yeah, or like that if they haven't been spooked by something. 
There's nothing on the island that could have frightened that could have that good bad bad bad. They could have be that afraid of though. We don't have any scary predators or anything. What if they saw a ghost? Wait, listen. There was a sound I heard earlier. Come on, Stella. Something spooked the horses, and I want to know what it was. It might be pirates, or come on, Stella. Hurry. Is it a ghost? That'd be cool. I'm down with that. I'm down with bringing up some Halloween stuff. Oh my gosh, there they go. <gasps> Let's run with them. Let's run with them. Oh, we're too slow. <laughs> but that's still so cool. I love that they're just running around and stuff. That's just awesome. Alright, so maybe... What are we doing? Like, does this activate the bridge club? Blah, 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 blah. The bridge quest, maybe? Or maybe not? I don't know what's going on. I have no idea. Alright, what's what's over here? Woo! Okay. Oh, this is, uh... The, the bad people's... The bad people's... And their bad people boats. And they're boating away from us. Pirates, ghosts, or what? Okay, Madison, uh, a fairy, how strange. Fairies don't go from here. The only fairies here are the ones that go from the harbor. I've heard grandma say about a million times how dangerous the waters are around the island and how many ships and vessels have run aground. Why would a fairy go from here, not from the harbor? Hmm, something's fishy going on here. I think this could be a case for the two detectives, Stella and Madison. Do you, you want to help? You do? Yay, together we can solve this mystery. I'm almost certain that it's the boat which spooked the horses. You think so too? The question is, what was it doing here? Detective Stella, imagine if it were, were pirates and now they've hidden their treasure here somewhere. Haha, ha, come on, it won't hurt, a, uh, hurt to look a little. Let's find Captain Goldtooth's treasure. If you look over there, I'll start looking here. All right, let's investigate that beach and see what's what what bad stuff is happening. All right, what's what's going on around here? What kind of things are we going to find or not find? Uh anything over here? We found a rope. Okay, interesting. And then what's over here? You find footprints from boots in the sand. People have been here. And then lastly, hmm, the hoof prints in the sand tell us that horses have been here. Horses have been here too. Whoop, horsey. <laughs> you overshot that one a little bit. Okay, get, get back over there. Whoop, you overshot that too. Okay, we'll just, nope, other way, other way. There we go. Hmm, that was weird. The horses have been down here on the beach, so you can uh, you can tell by the hoof prints. But why are, are there human uh, boot prints here? And this rope? What do you think this could mean, Stella? I agree with you that something is very strange. Do you think it's smug smugglers? Pirates? What a good idea, Stella. You're totally right. Grandma, our mom, and dad must uh, d might, uh, maybe know something about the fairy. You should be called Ace Detective Stella. I don't know what it means, but the name Ace sounds pretty cool. Come on, Stella, let's ride to Grandma. If there's anyone who might know anything, it'll be her. She's usually over by the lighthouse. I will admit, putting Ace in front of anything does make it sound cool. Or after anything, yeah, any, before or after. Ace detective, Ace, Ace horse person. It does sound cool. All right, let's go over to uh, the lighthouse, which is a long ride away, apparently. So I will see you guys in a moment. Okay, here we are. And I realize this episode, I think, is going on for way longer than I meant it to. Uh, there you are, Madison. All right, so we're just going to end it there. I know we still have to do this, finish this quest and the one with the Jonas at the harbor thing. We'll do that in another episode. I hope you guys had an awesome day. What? I hope you... I'm getting all mixed up. It's how tired I am. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you all have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone!